So in this lesson, we will try to understand some basic ground topics of music. So till now, uh, uh, it it was not necessary for us to learn that uh, as we are dealing with the general concepts like how to hold the violin and how to bow and how to play. These kind of normal things, nothing to do with the uh, proper music. Now we are getting into uh, playing some fundamentals and some exercise on the violin. So then there is a need to understand very ground level concepts of Carnatic music, not even Carnatic music, for a very ground topics of music. Like uh, first we have to understand that two uh, very important things for music are pitch and rhythm, sruti and laya. So in, there is uh, one uh, sloka uh, uh, our ancestors told that Sruti Mata Laya Pita. So Sruti uh, for music, Sruti is like mother and for music Laya is like father. So these two are two eyes for music. We have to be very uh, careful. We have to be understand. We have to understand these two topics very well. So see Sruti is like uh, um, in, in music, in general, you can understand that there are seven swaras. So you might have already heard in different ways that sa, ri, ga, ma, pa, da, ni. Again, sa will come, that is repetition and that belongs to the next octave. Octave means thai. So whatever sa we are playing, sa, that is middle uh, octave, middle is much is thai, we have already learned and these two strings are from uh, Mandras Thai and Sarigamapadani Sa that belongs to the next octave, Taras Thai. That octave is called as Taras Thai, that Thai is called as. So from there again, Sarigama, you will get more notes in higher octave. So octave means Thai, you, you remember that. So in one octave, you will get these seven notes and Apart, these seven notes are called as Saptaswaras. By including this Sarigama Padani Sa, including that the eighth, including the eighth note, we call it as Swarastakam. Remember this terminology, which will enrich your music. Okay. Then you, apart from this Swaras, there are Swarasthanas. So there are twelve Swarasthanas. We call it as Dwaras Swarasthanas. This. Seven notes and twelve swaraswaras, sapta swaras and dwarasa swaraswaras are universally accepted. Initially, we have to learn about these things. So we have already learned that sa and pa, and apart from these two, there are five riga ma dani. To get these dwarasa swaraswaras, twelve swaraswaras, these two have, these five have another variant like ri one and ri two. Ga 1 and Ga 2, Ma 1 and Ma 2, Da 1 and Da 2, Ni 1 and Ni 2. So 5 to sir, 10 plus Sa and Pa, 12 Swarasthanas. You try to understand till here now. This is about pitch. And when we move to Laya part, Rhythm part, so we have to have some kind of measurement to put the notes into, to put the notes into. So what is that measurement? That is called as layer. This is kind of some kind of time uh, signature. So see we can 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. This is one kind of rhythm which is having three beats and repeating. Ta, ki, ta, ta, ki, ta. If you have notes then sa, ri, ga, ri, ga, ma, sa, ga, ri, to put the notes, what we are composing, we should have a rhythm. So we should have some time frame to put. See, if you want to keep some items in a house, you should have that space. That space is time. So these all notes are. This is belong. These all notes belong belong to Sruti part, and the rhythm part is uh, rhythm part deals with different types of patterns and lengths. So it may, the rhythm pattern may be having three. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, or 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So according to that, we will uh, compose the music and play. 
this is about Shruti and rhythm part in general, which is accepted worldwide. In the next lesson, we will know what is the unique part and how we should understand this Shruti and Laya part in Indian music context. Okay, we will learn about that in the next lesson.